Hi and welcome back to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to add your wishlist into Shopify store. So it will be very easy tutorial. It is a tutorial for beginners, for those who start in Shopify web developing. So it will be very easy. Everything that you need is a website and I will also uh, show you how to how you can make it so to actually make a website uh, you will need to go on shopify.com and cl clicked on a green button that says start free trial once you done that they will ask you what best describes you i'm just starting next then um where would you like to sell an online shop social media in person an existing website to blog uh, what do you plan to sell first product i buy or make myself and you also have more options i will select first one and they will ask you for your uh, shopify name once that is done you will have a dashboard like this one then from this you can go and uh, search for wishlist app so on your left side you have this cyber and you go to apps then search on wishlist uh, plus and once you search for it you uh, need to find this black and white icon with a heart in the middle wishlist plus and it is a great um, app they will uh, give you free plan for 30 days and if you want to continue uh, having it then you will need a starter pro or premium plan we will use this 30 demo trial and to start using it click on the add up button then go uh, up here and click on install app once you done that they will redirect you to a new dashboard and they will ask you for your name and they will ask you for your gmail and i am i entered my gmail and my name and then they will ask uh, me for a plan i will uh, click on start free, free plan because um, this is a, just a test for a website and they will give you a few options here so how do you want um uh, launch point to be exposed on your site so you can set as a floating button as a navigation menu item as a header menu item and as a custom item so you can see here how that it will look and this is a navigation menu item a header menu so you will have this heart and a custom item but i will uh, say i will select this as a header so once you choose what option they want click on continue then uh, they will ask you how you want to uh, button to look on your product uh, page so i think this one is uh, best and you can also on a social account you can uh, choose if you want this number or if, or uh, you don't want this number this number displays how much you have items on your wish list and sorry uh, and i will uh, deselect that and you can also choose uh, how 
uh, you want to be styled and I will choose a dark blue co co color. So click on uh, this red, uh, this orange button and this will be email details and this is not very important so I will just con um, continue fi finishing my setup. So when that is done you will get this dashboard and this dashboard you can look at purchases, products, wishlist plus reports and much more. But I will show you how you can um, add and see that wishlist on your uh, Webflow, uh, on your Shopify store. And then we we'll need to go to our dashboard and to actually see uh, a button, you will need a product. I will show you how to add your first product if you don't have one I will say here um, ho hoodie and here uh, you can enter your description and uh, you can uh, apply your your images here and set price so this is pretty much what you need for a product and once you've done that on a product page you will get your hoodie or your product what you want and then to see your wish list go here on your uh, online store and view your online store then you will get your uh, products and once you click on a product then uh, you can uh, see that we have this blue button and to actually add on our wishlist we can simply click uh, add to wishlist and then uh, because I selected navbar uh, I will have this um, heart icon on my number and this will be my wish list. Thanks for watching. I I hope you enjoy it and I hope you found this useful. And if you want to share uh, this with uh, your friends and your uh, colleagues, then be free to do that. Uh, this way you will support our channel and another way that you can support us is by clicking on a like button and subscribing if you want to see more videos and if you have any suggestions leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.